prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that He entered His own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in His footsteps, so that being made partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in His resurrection and in His life. Can you raise your palms and wave your palms as we bless them? Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through Him who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. As he drew near to Bethpage and Bethany at a place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples. He said, Go into the village opposite you, and as you enter it, you will find a coal tethered on which no one has ever sat, and tie it and bring it here. And if anyone should ask you, why are you untying it? You will answer, the master has need of it. So those who had been sent went off and found everything just as he had told them. And as they were untying the coal, its owner said to them, why are you untying this coal? They answered, the master has need of it. So they brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks over the colt, and helped Jesus to mount. As he rode along, the people were spreading their cloaks on the road. And now as he was approaching the slope of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of his disciples began to praise God with joy for all the mighty deeds they had seen. They proclaimed, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He said in reply, I tell you, if they keep silent, the stones will cry out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ. Singing the procession hymn, Let the King of Glory Come. If not, you get saved on the righteous, let the King of Glory come. If not, your hearts and sing, you people, let 